Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Well today we're going to do a short but hopefully fun tutorial in Photoshop where we place a plane of glass that is rainy and fogged up in front of a image of a pretty lady and then we're going to write in that glass and create a cool effect. Okay so here we go. Okay guys and here we are in Photoshop. So what we're going to do in this quick little tutorial is we are going to take a picture of a lady and we're going to put that behind a rainy and fogged up glass and then we're going to write on that glass with our finger. Okay cool. So we're going to go to file and open and I'm going to start by opening up the image of the lady that we're going to use in this tutorial. And uh, I got this image off pixabay.com, so check that out. It's uh, free images for commercial use. And what we're going to do with this image is we're going to go up to uh, Filter, we're going to go to uh, Blur and Gaussian Blur. And let's blur this by, let's do 10 pixels, that's fine. Okay, and we're going to hit OK. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our rainy glass. So we're going to go to File, and I'm going to do Place Embedded. Here is my rainy window. There you go. And I'm just going to pull that up high enough so it's covering the entire image, like so. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard, right? I'm going to select my rainy window layer and I'm going to go to my blend mode and I'm going to change the normal blend mode to overlay. And as we do that, you can see that we now have our uh, lady. We can even decide if we want to select that layer. And uh, let's see, we're going to unlock that first. So we're going to right click and go to, uh, actually let's do convert the smart object. That's fine. We have got that selected and what we're going to do is we're going to tweak the opacity just a bit, just to bring that down, not too much. Let's do, let's try 85. Yeah, 85 is fine, okay? So we got that, we got our uh, rainy glass, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw on this glass. Uh, so for that, we need a new layer. That's what we're gonna paint on, click new layer. Make sure you have that selected. We're gonna take a paintbrush and we're gonna make sure that our ink is black, okay? Take a paintbrush, decide how large you want this to be, and let's do a, a smiley figure or something like that, okay? So we're just gonna go around two eyes and a mouth. And just to make it a little bit cooler, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of drip effect, okay? So for that, we're gonna go to uh, Filter. Uh, let's see, we're gonna to go to Liquify. And that will give us this guy here. And then we're gonna take our default brush here. Oh, make that much, much smaller. Let's try 40. That's even way too big. 20, maybe even less than that. We'll do 12, okay? And what we're just gonna do is we're gonna start to kind of pull that down. And we'll do a little bit here as well. And don't go nuts on that. I'll make it slightly bigger. Let's see, the pressure is good, yeah. Make that slightly bigger. Just so we get that effect, okay, you get the idea. And I'll just pull that eye as well, okay? So all good, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, we got this guy selected. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna change the blend mode of that guy. So with that text layer selected, we're gonna go up to normal and we're gonna change that to overlay. And as we do that, you can see that it has now, uh, you can see through that, you can see our uh, layer behind that. And what we can do there, if we like, is to uh, go to our opacity layer. And let's bring that down a little bit so it fits better with our image. We don't want it to be too dark. This is too dark, okay? So let's try 75%. Let's try that again. Maybe even less than that. We'll do uh, 53, okay? 
So that is pretty much it. That is how you do that. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.